Hello everyone, we are from Colorify team, personalized guidance, effortless tracking, and help at your fingertips. Before we begin, let's meet our team. Our team consists of six person. There is Melati Eka Putri as mobile development, myself Muhammad Hilmi Sane as cloud computing, Lingga Rohadian as machine learning, Sadila Taruna Kalvindoro as mobile development, Fanny Limin as cloud computing, and Farhah Faridamila as machine learning. This presentation will be divided into several parts. There is the first background problem, second reason, the third existing result, fourth implementation, fifth result, sixth documentation, and the last local deployment plan and go to market proposal. Non-communicable diseases or NCDs represent a major health challenge in the 21st century. In Indonesia, they emerged as the leading cause of death in 2016, responsible for a staggering 73% of fatalities, and the main cause of death are cardiovascular, cancer, chronic respiratory, and diabetes. Shockingly, the risk of premature death associated with NCDs exceeds 20%. The high mortality rate in Indonesia can be attributed to NCDs, specifically cardiovascular, cancer, chronic respiratory, and diabetes, which were the primary cause of death in 2016, highlighting their significant impact. Furthermore, the increasing incidence of NCDs signifies a growing concern as it puts the population at a higher risk of developing these diseases, leading to a burden on healthcare systems and a diminished quality of life. The reason behind our concern is that research has shown a lack of awareness among people regarding their daily calorie consumption and its detrimental effect on health. Unhealthy diets, which are a leading cause of NCDs, further emphasize the needs for intervention. Our objective is to tackle this issue and actively promote healthy eating habits. After conducting the five points analysis, we have determined that the root cause of the high mortality rates and increasing incidence of NCDs is the absence of user-friendly and enjoyable platforms to support healthy lifestyles. Given careful analysis, we have concluded that the underlying cause behind the aforementioned issues is the lack of accessible and enjoyable platforms that effectively address people's needs. This conclusion is proven by the evidence we have gathered throughout our research. But before we delve into the gravity of the matter, let's take a moment to meet Dina and hear her story. Next, I will explain about existing result. She is Dina, a busy tech secundum. Every day, she spends most of her time in front of her laptop and relies on food delivery service for quick meals. One day, she weighed herself and was surprised by the illusion. She had not realized that she had gained weight. This prompts her to consider seeking professional advice from a nutritionist. However, her busy schedule makes it difficult. In search of an alternative solution, she decides to try using a logging app that can help her to control her daily calorie intake. Over time, she loses interest in manual logging due to busy schedule and commitment, leading to demotivation and forgetting to log daily food intake. She is confused about what she should do to maintain her weight and stay healthy. Does she let herself eat anything regardless of the calories, or does she look for other solutions that can help her and overcome this problem? She finally imagined what if there was an app that can co combine personalized calorie recommendation, AI image recognition with for food detection, and automatic daily logging. It will be very useful and easy to use, especially for busy people. How might we? First, we create a solution which focuses on healthy eating habit. Second, we create a personalized healthy eating application. Third, we simplify the process to do healthy eating. Fourth, we give users control over to the type of the plan and the amount of money they have to pay when using the facility. And the last, we create a solution that supports Bahasa Indonesia in order to support our country as digits 2030. So, for the implementation, what's the solution? To simplify tracking and encourage healthy eating habits, we want to create a personalized calorie tracking solution based on our user assessment. We also want to use image classification technology to simplify the process of meal logging. We also provided free and premium plans to give users control over the amount of money they have to pay when using the app for the future development. As you can see here, here are the architectural design of our app. We implement GitHub Action for continuous integration and deployment CI CD to automate our build and development process. Next, we have integrated Firebase authentication and real time database. For our backend application, we have decided to use Google App Engine. Lastly, we have integrated the TensorFlow Lite to integrate machine learning models into our Android app. Here are the user flow for our app, and here are the more detailed information architectures of our app. Result As you can see, these are our onboarding pages result. Move on to the next slide, we have authentication page. Here we are using Firebase authentication for user authentication. After that, we have self-assessment page. For the backend part, we use Cloud Firestore, Firebase Cloud Storage, Google App Engine, Google Cloud Build, and Express.js. 
next slide, we have assessment result page. In the assessment result, we have four types of index BMI, which are normal, underweight, overweight, and obesity or obesitas. Move on to the main page. First, we have home page. Here, user can see their calorie intake and the calorie fulfilled. User can also see their daily calorie log. Second one, we have scan calorie page. This is the machine learning part in this app. We use a TensorFlow image classification and achieve an impressive 90% accuracy. In this page, user can get the food per serving calories by only taking a picture of it. Third one, we have log history page. In this page, user can see their monthly calorie log and its graph. User can also see the detail of the food by clicking it. The last one, we have profile page. Here, user can change the per their personal data, such as profile picture, name, birth date, gender, and password. User can also redo the self-assessment in case they want to change their assessment. We also planning to add a premium subscription for the future development. Overall, our result is pretty good and meets our expectations. For the documentation, we have documented each component of our project in our readme.md file. The readme.md file for Calorify includes installation instruction, usage guide, and more information. It explains how to set up the app on your local machine and provides examples of how to use its features. For this documentation on Android, DECM, and machine learning, you can see the detail in the following link. For now, let me tell you about Calorify Local Deployment Plan and Go to Market Proposal. Before that, what is Calorify? As mentioned before, Calorify is an easy to use tool that helps track daily calorie intake. What is our purpose? Providing steady support for people to achieve their healthy goals and then help to fix growing problem of non-communicable disease in Indonesia as long as support Indonesia in reaching 2030 sustainable development goals, especially in ensuring healthy lives and promoting well-being for all at all ages. And then the target audience for Qualify is Indonesian adults around 18 until 40 years old who are interested in maintaining a healthy lifestyle. And then our business model is premium, which have basic plan and premium plan. The premium plan is our future development. And then let me introduce you to Dina. She is our user persona. She is a busy person and she said that she prefers simplicity. Sometimes she feels exhausted when she has to put in a lot of effort to achieve a healthy lifestyle. Here's the result for our competitor analysis. There's Circa, My Fitness Pal, and Kaori Mama. Circa doesn't have scan food feature and free plan. My Fitness Pal doesn't have scan food feature. Kaori Mama doesn't support Indonesian language. And there's Calorify, which personalized has scan food feature, has free plan, and support Indonesian language. Here's our future roadmap for the next six months. And here's our project milestone from July until December 2. And then here's our needed resource, tools, marketing, and human resource. And then here's our budget plan for 5k dollars budgeting and 10k dollars budgeting. And then here's our market size and market share calculation from Indonesian civilians until market share for Qualify application. And then here's our revenue stream target. Here's our efficiency priority. For my last word, by considering the user need and the market size, Qualify had a big potency to be a powerful and steady support for people to achieve their health goals. Our fresh solutions for user problems also makes us confident about Qualify potency to grow further in Indonesia's market. This is the resources for our presentation. You can see it right here. So. After hearing the explanation from our team, if you are interested and want to live an easy healthy life, let's try out our application. You can scan this QR code right here or just use link under the QR code. You can download, install, and tell us how you feel about our application. We gladly receive your feedback because from your feedback, we can improve our application in the future. So that's all from us, thank you for the opportunities, and bye-bye.